Hello Libras, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me. I had a really hectic day. I lost a lot of footage um, for Zodiacs. So I'm just surrendering to everything and uh, sitting on my couch comfortably doing your readings. We'll see how many I get through today because I lost a lot. I lost a lot. Uh, yeah, so it's okay. I'm gonna gain, right? I'm going to gain even better messages for you. So I'm looking into your blockages. Um, I'm going to pull some love messages at the end. And we're going to use the tarot. So let's see what a couple of blockages are that will be getting removed in February. Next week I'll make sure I have some nice messages for you as well. Okay, so this is a nice beginning we got here. The Ghost of Pumpkin Patch. Now this is interesting because it came out with the Shallow Grave. So this says count your blessings and you miss someone. I feel like you feel invisible to be honest. Maybe you just ended a situation or recently ended a situation. By the way, like it looks like it was time to end it, you know, but it does say that you miss someone. I think this happened recently. Did I say that already? Because it's a shallow grave. I don't know why I would feel like January 1st even. So like maybe this year, I'm sorry if this happened to you, um, but what the message is from the ghost of the pumpkin patch is that you do exist, you do count, you are here, you are noticeable. This person feels like she doesn't, no one sees her anymore. Okay, so maybe the person you were with, you got so close to them that, you know, I'm getting almost a message as well, like the person may have not given you much, to be honest, because it looks like they're dealing with their own stuff, the skin and bones here, right? But you may have continually wanted this to happen as a wish of yours possibly and now that that's over you may have literally lost this person like they're gone now you don't feel loved you don't feel and the funny thing is i don't feel like this person was loving you that all that much you know some people they rather have just a peanut than nothing don't be a peanut person I don't know why that analogy is coming out, but it's like, I don't know why I get the message, but that's what I'm getting the message. So your guides are telling you to count what you have right now. Count your blessings because you have a lot. You don't even see it because you're so, for some of you, you're really feeling unseen, that you're not even able to see what else is out there. I'm not saying as in person. I'm saying like, you're a very special human being and um, you count. Okay, you count. So let's see what we have here and um, we'll take this as well. So we have Love is Strange and Two Little Witchies. Love is Strange, uh, the Strange Valentine. You got the Valentine card. Maybe if you could clear some stuff up, you're going to be having a Valentine's. Who knows? We have Two Little Witchies, Magical Space and a Clearing Time. This is a special message. We're going to be clarifying this. I'm not sure what this one's about just yet. You could be meeting someone very special to you, your twin. You really actually could. Because the strange love is about opposites attract. And often for twins, it's like the yin yang, the black and white. In this case, it's a warris, I believe. I, I forget from the description, but I think it's a warris. And uh, this beautiful energy here, this female energy here. Magical space, clearing time. Anyhow, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to get a card for the first message of blockage that you're going to be um, dealing with yet. Time to let go. And the second one, okay. Yeah, you have someone coming in, Libra. Wow, okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we do have the moon card. So I do feel that right now you could be going through a dark time, right? Because not only do you feel unseen and, you know, it's hard for you to let go of someone that you're missing that's already gone, by the way. Just saying, because I want to be honest here. Um, also, you're maybe having a little... Um, let's see what that's about. Something about someone coming in. But I don't know if you're absolutely ready for this because this person's going to be different. This person might be your twin. This is so weird. 
because if you're on my channel, you probably think you met your twin already. And to be honest, I will say this, with the Knight of Cups, it could definitely be someone, you know, coming back. But there's definitely a need to get out of your grave and notice yourself and recognize yourself and love yourself you know, face your fear, whatever that may be. And it may be the fear of letting this dead situation go. And you have to let it go. I'm not saying it's not going to come back. There can always be a rebirth in this world that we, YouTube Collective for Tarot are in, there can always be a rebirth. Okay? And in every way there actually is. No matter how you look at it, everything in one way or another is reborn again. Even if they get buried in the ground, eventually they dissolve and they become whatever. Nitric oxide, I don't know, I'm probably saying the wrong thing. But everything gets reborn, reborn one way or another. So for your first message, um, it's time for you to stop going back and forth with this. Can I let this go? Can I not let this go? All you really have to do is to count your blessings. And I feel like everything else will drop. I feel the up and down, the wobbly energy will drop. Because I almost feel like there's days when you're doing really well. Look at this. Right? But it's weird because I just got this very deep feeling. So I think that there's days where I don't know what it has to do with this person you're missing. Um, but some of those days you feel good. Maybe you're in memory lane or something like that. And then other days you're like, oh, they're not here. So if you're trying to manifest this person back, I would let it go for now. Okay, I would let it go for now I, because the wobbly energy isn't going to do anything good for you. The most important thing for you to do right now is to focus on yourself and get that, that blood flowing again, that uh, life back in you. You know, have some fun. Okay, so let's clarify the first pile. Making this decision, I mean, it's time to want to come out. It does want to come out. What don't you want to let go of here? It's the Page of Cups and the Devil. So one thing I get is there's a reason this person is not coming back right now. Another message I get is you're actually not energetically tied to this person anymore. You're actually not. Like you've been released. So what I'm hearing, yeah, you fully have been released. It's memory. It's like, I don't know how to explain this. I guess I can explain this in the sense that sometimes our body remembers things more than we want it to. Just like sometimes our mind remembers things more than we want it to. Like if you're driving and you don't even remember how you got to your destination, but you got there because it's the memory your mind has of driving. Like you don't have to be conscious to do that. Um, it will just drive you there, right? You could be paying attention to music. Oh my God, I'm here already. It took two seconds type of thing. There's something here with the memory of the actions, the memory of how much fun you used to have. Maybe that's why sometimes you do dress up because I got that image that sometimes you dress up or you like really like get ready. You know, you're out of that other energy of not feeling seen, but I feel like it's connected to your person, which is a very odd message to get. I don't know what that means. You will know. You have to dissect these messages too. So it's time to stop being up and down to stop waiting for this person to come in. Ooh, it's nice sitting here because it's just a little dip to get the cards that fall. So this was actually in reverse. I didn't really pay attention to that. Um, cherry on the bottom and the High Priestess in reverse. Come on. Libra. It's definitely time to follow your instincts and stop worrying about this person, if they're coming back or not type of thing. So we're on the High Priestess in reverse. And Libra, is, like I said, this has to do with you not listening to your instincts, possibly waiting for this person to come swooshing in. We already had the Page of Cups in reverse, and right now, right now it's definitely not happening, I can say. If this message relates to you, I'm not saying it's never going to happen, because I don't know that. But I am saying right now, you are depleting 
by hanging on and missing this person and wanting them to come back in and ignoring your instincts, okay? Please, if you're ignoring your instincts, let your instincts know that you know you're ignoring them. Because if you don't and you just ignore them, your instincts stop working. At least acknowledge the truth. I know I'm supposed to move on and I'm not doing it right now type of thing, okay? So let's get another card for Libra not making this choice right now. Let me just flip this card over. Okay, are my cards in reverse? No. But those two are. And you know, the two cards that were just in reverse are the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. That's about no reunion right now, okay? Not happening. So I'm not trying to be mean or be honest. Let me know if you like my honesty. Leave a comment. Let's see what else is coming up. Okay, it came in the in the upright, which is nice. So I feel like, honestly, you and this person probably knew that there was going to be a break happening here. It is the Two of Cups, but this is not your typical Two of Cups. They're, like, not even facing us. And all I'm seeing is the arguments. I feel like you even had an opportunity to let this go, maybe multiple times. And I guess you didn't because you really, really, really care about this person. This is about choice. This is about wanting companionship, about missing the person. I really feel like you're missing this person. Maybe you had some of your best days with them. Maybe you, that's why you're in memory lane with them and that's why you dress up sometimes. I mean, that's not going to resonate with everyone. But with the moon card, it could be. Like some nights you just want to remember what it was like type of thing. You might just dress up in your own house, in your own place. I was going to say in your own room. So maybe in the privacy of your room. Let's get one more card for that side. That's what it is. It's a lover's hun. Libras. This is a very special connection and I feel like at one point like this was fireworks and you were both very open and vulnerable, but I do feel it's, um, with this Two of Cups, it's not the same energy anymore. There's actually two separate pawns here. Big circles. They're not even connected. It's very bizarre. It's time to allow. Okay, that's the best way I can put it. I understand that this is a huge love situation for you, and that's why you have trouble letting it go. Well, that's why you're wishing so much because this person made you feel so good. I feel really um, connected to some that actually lost this person. So my condolences, but I think energetically you lost them. And it may be also because you lost yourself just a little. Okay. Let me put in my battery. So let's move on to the second part of the message for Libras with the strange love two cards here let's see what this is okay I don't know if that was in reverse or what um but point being it's about an ending we have the ten of wands and the seven of swords here I'm seeing the six of cups and the moon card again I'm hearing a quiet ending it's time to organize stuff and clear it up it really is in this seven of swords the person has cleared up all the swords. They're not care like they're they're dealing with it. They're getting it put away. So I feel in order to deal with this, it's time to drop the thoughts, the overthinking, because you have someone that wants to come in. Sure, it could be someone you know, possibly, or you've known before. But you gotta clear yourself up here and get ready. Queen of Cups, you got to be in that energy, right? To welcome it, to let it in. We're going to look into that witchy thing too. Let's get one more card here. We need double clarification for that. So we have the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, you may actually... I almost want to say pay for some clearing work or energy, or maybe this is what you need to do in order to have clarity here, in order to move forward in this situation. Let's get one more card for that. I think that's connected to that witchy situation here. So we have the Eight of Wands. It kind of flipped a little on the side there. Or Eight of Pentacles, sorry. 
So, I mean, you may actually clear or pay for some clearing energy work or pay for some sort of work. That's a strong message here, okay? Maybe a love, um, I'm hearing like a love eraser. I don't know if that's possible, but something to do with that. So I want to get another card here for this witchy energy about the clearing time. Maybe this will tell us more. Witchy energy, please. What's that about? Ooh, look at that. And I don't know what the other one is. Let's see. I don't know if you saw that. Wow. So for some of you, I actually think you're going to be paying to clear some energy up so you can have a new beginning. Or that might be the advice to clear. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm getting it. It is the advice. Because there's something you're attached to that's it's unhealthy attachment. It's just you have to get rid of it. So for some of you, you actually have to pay someone to help you clear this. You may want to ask around or ask people you know. And this is how you can bring love back into your life. Um, amazing. That's a weird message, the way that came out. So we have finances and career here. It's kind of on the reverse. You want to reverse there, let go of control issues. I think you have to let go of this issue in general, and it could be affecting your finances. But that's what happens, right? When you feel like you don't count or you don't have value, and it gets reflected in your in your what you make in a month. Check your bank account. That's what someone told me once, one of my uh, coaches. Check your bank account to see how you feel about yourself, because when you're feeling good and you know you're valuable and you're valued and you have something to offer to people that helps them. It often does show up in the bank. It really does. Because we need that energy. Like we have to survive or live, I should say, right? We deserve to live. So this may be affecting things. Incomely. Incomely. So give a relationship a chance. I think you're going to be able to give this a new relationship a chance. But there is some clearing to do. And look what we have worth waiting for. You're worth waiting for, for one, but look what's at the bottom. True love is worth waiting for. So there's still work to be done, and that's not a bad thing, Libras. There's still work to be done is what I'm just hearing. There's still work to be done, and true love is worth waiting for. We have a king of cups. That could be what's coming in. More about that true love, please. I'm just going to take the top one. And let me see what flipped over here and I'll put it out. So I'm seeing the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. But so it's interesting because whoever is coming back, I don't think it's the old person. Because we had those same two cards come in reverse. And what's this one sticking up here? Oh, yeah, the Hermit. I don't think it's this person coming back, to be honest. Tell us more about the Two of Cups or the King of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Well, I can tell you this. It looks like there's a fire sign coming in. If uh, you understand who that is, definitely it looks like a fire sign. Um, it could be water, but it's someone who's going to love you. and someone who's actually probably been watching you and maybe unable to get to you. This could be someone who's older as well. Hmm. It's very special. But it's kind of an unexplainable energy. It's not someone holding back. It's someone that maybe has held back about how much they love you. Maybe they were waiting for you to finally move past other things. Or maybe when you clear your energy, Libra, this person can finally come in. So thank you so much, Libras. Um, if you'd like to book a reading, I would love it. If you want to join Patreon, there won't be an extended for this one because I'm just trying to get these ones done. I can't believe I lost all the other videos I recorded. But yeah, I will be back. And please check out the dailies. Leave a comment because every day, Monday to Friday, I pick one person to pull a card for. And on certain days, special ones, I'll do it for everyone, okay? Bye for now. Thank you so much. Ciao.